Think Progress is reporting that CVS workers must report how much they weigh or pay a six hundred dollar fine. This is a new policy at CVS, which uh, if you use CVS company health care, you have to report your weight, glucose levels and body fat to the insurer or pay a penalty of six hundred dollars, which basically is a fifty dollar surcharge per month, which works out to six hundred dollars for the year. And the rule is basically copying what um, some other organizations have done to try to incentivize healthy behavior. So at Whole Foods, for example, people can get a discount based on their body mass index. Um, and a lot of patient privacy groups are having a huge problem with this. Here are some quotes. This is incredibly coercive and invasive. OK, um, also saying that uh, it should be a, it, employees should be aware that they they ha it's all, it's voluntary to sign the form. So in that sense, it's not coercive. But if you don't sign it, then you have to pay fifty dollars extra per month. What do you think about this? Uh, I just I don't get it. Um, what does CVS then do with that with that data? OK, and, and if you are C overweight, C okay, well, actually, yeah. that's a good let's address that. Uh, CVS says that they do not have access to the data, that it goes to the health insurance company and that the insurer can give the results to WebMD Health Services Group. Uh, the firm provides health management programs and benefit support to CVS. So it's basically it just goes to the insurance company and this will uh, lower premiums, which is why they don't have to pay the fifty dollars a month. That's kind of the whole goal, I think. How does this lower premiums? Because if you don't do this, you pay fifty dollars more. <laughs> <laughs> but see, regardless of your weight, glucose levels and body mass index, you get the job, right? You all, you got the job. Yeah. So I don't I don't understand. I don't understand how this changes a thing. You don't understand how it changes what, though? Anything. How does this affect anything? If the I think the idea is to encourage healthy behavior. So the idea is let's but either log. way. But no matter who you are, yeah. you have to report these things. And no matter what those results are, you you're not going to get fired. You're if not going to get fired. Well, I see what you're saying. Right. No, currently you won't get fired. Of course, that would it would be illegal to do that. But I think the idea is unless to create, I'm missing something here. It you're seems not missing something. Like there is absolutely no point to this at all. Uh, so I think really the point is the discussion about this specific policy is actually a distraction. I find it to be irrelevant. The real point here is we need to have a healthcare system that does not run through employers, Natan. That's really what, we, what we're getting down to here. Absolutely. And I think this is coercive. I think that uh, if you had a system where uh, your employees get discounts for certain health services or for anything else, it would be an incentive. But because uh, they're basically forced to do this or pay a fine, right. I think it is coercive. So uh, re we need to take employees and employ or employers really out of this and not make this an employee-based, a work-based healthcare system. That's it the sound, reality. sounds to me like the only point of this is that some of these people won't do this and will then have to pay $600. Right. Maybe they're going to self-select not to do it if they know that they're overweight. I don't know. And then they'll pay a little more. Can I just and say then, one thing? It's basically extortion. In a sense, it could be extortion. Yeah, yeah. it's on. Uh, I, I would be willing to bet that we're going to get a phone call from a conservative saying, oh, we're against this as coercive. Obamacare is the exact same thing with the individual mandate, except that it isn't. This no. is a private employer discriminating against its own employees. The other one is a mass solution to a to a problem that affects the whole country and is perfectly constitutional. Absolutely.